Check out G2A in description for cheap games, Xbox Live, PSN codes, and more. Use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.12.0 mod showcase. Today in this video, I have possibly the best mod I've ever showcased. Today for you, I have a grass 3D printer mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition. This mod means that you can print any image from Google in your Minecraft world as a pixel art. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. In description will be the download along with the creator. Um, so go and check it out for yourself. Now before I go any further, installing this mod is a little different from installing uh, ordinary mods, but it's still pretty easy. Just make sure you go to my website and follow the tutorial on how to install it. But let's get into this. Uh, I will go to Google and show you guys how to get all the images and what images you should be getting. So if I go to play, I'm just gonna quickly showcase a world. As you guys can see here, I have a bunch of images already printed on the grass. Now it only works on grass, which is why I suggest using a flat world. Um, and the image possibilities are endless. We've got like Mega Man, we've got a love heart, we've got a sad skull, we've got some cute thing over there, we've got Ghostbusters, and uh, we've got the actual DL logo, which is theirs. Um, I think I've got yin and yang over there. We've got Brian Griffin, we've got some crazy symbol, we've got Super Meat Boy, and the possibilities are literally endless. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna simply go to a brand new world and start printing some images. Then I'll show you what images you should be using um, because there's a specific size I suggest using for the sake of this. So let's back out. Oh look, a spider jockey just spawned. Let's just back out and create a brand new flat world. So I'm just gonna go to play. I'm just gonna go to new, advanced, and create a flat world. And just simply create a brand new world. Now as for printing, I suggest going up in the air a little bit so you guys have a preview of what to expect. But make sure you can still touch the ground with blocks because the way you generate them is when you touch the ground that is when the image does generate. So if I click the print, you can see here grass printer made by TBPM, file path, um, and you've actually got a slider here. Now I suggest using 20 by 20 pixel images. Anything over that, it becomes very hard to generate in a certain amount of time. So if I go to files, I go to download, I'm just gonna simply for the sake of the start off with this, we're gonna start off with Brian Griffin. Now straight away on screen, you can see what the image is gonna look like on the ground. With some of the images, they really don't look that good, so you can decide whether you want to print them or not, and it just tells you about the image. Now in the file info, you can see it says type PNG file. You can use PNG and JPEG, I believe. Uh, it's got width and length 20 by 20. Try and keep the images smaller, because the bigger images take a long time to generate, but I will show you that as well. Um, and as you guys can see there, if I click start, all I need to do is touch the ground and it will start to generate this image in a specific area. Now, I don't know why you have to use um, blocks. I guess it just generates when you touch the ground and stuff. But as you guys can see there, we have P Brian Griffin. And I've just downloaded a whole bunch of images. But again, I will go to the Google page uh, just because I thought it was really, really fun. So let's go to print. Let's go to files. Let's go to download. Let's go to... Um, Mini Mega, I think this is the Mega, yes, there we go. As you guys can see, that's what it's gonna look like. And then you go down here and you click start, and then you can just simply touch the ground and it will start to generate in. And it's just, I've just had so much fun in the past couple of hours just messing around with this. Um, I also messed around with it yesterday. Uh, and these images are pretty big with a 20 by 20. So imagine if you did like a 500 by 500, it takes up a whole space and generating it takes a long time. So let's just go to, let's just have a little bit of a mess around with some of the ones before I show you how it works. Uh, oh, we've got the dollar sign, the dollar dollar. All right then, um, here we go. I, as you guys can see, the colors are different as well. And it kind of has like the, I don't know, it's got like, it, it, it generally isn't Minecraft blocks. It just prints them. Look at it. How cool is that? It's just, I don't know, I just really love this mod. It's probably the best mod I've showcased because I didn't even think this was possible in Minecraft, but the possibilities in Minecraft are endless. Um, what else is that I want to check out? We've got Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters one's pretty cool. I really like that. It fits in really well with the pixel form. Uh, be very careful though because it looks like this one's going to overlap. So try and space them out a little bit better than me. Uh, but the, I think it's really awesome, the, the Ghostbusters ones, and it kind of fits in perfect in pixel form. Um, I'll do one more, then I'll show you guys how it all works and stuff. Um, I won't show you how to install it because it does take a little bit of time, but you guys shouldn't have any problem. If you do, leave a comment down below. Um, let's check out what images we've got here. Ghostbusters, let's go to... What is this one? That's their original logo that they used as a test, as you guys can see. 
um, they just use this as a test image. So if you guys want to test it with this, you can always download it. Um, as you get, oops, as you guys can see, they're just going to generate this in. Um, and for the sake of this, we'll do one more. I'm just not going to finish that one. We'll do one more right over here because uh, I got a I got a bunch of images. I got a whole bunch. Um, we've got yin and yang in here, but it doesn't really look that good. Let's go to what is this one? That's the armor. Now that's a 400 by 400 image, so I'm not going to use that because it'll take a long time to load in. Uh, let's use the sad skull. I like this one. It, it's it looks really really good on the grass. You can use this in um, terrain worlds, but I just suggest using it in like flat worlds because you get a better quality in my eyes. As you guys can see, we've got a super sad skull. Uh, all right, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to Google and show you guys. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize minimize that. I'm going to get up Google real quick. And all I searched for here was 20 times 20 pixel images or icons and it's in description. As you guys can see here, we got this one before. Um, we've got this one. I just, and you simply saved them. So let's just try and pick a brand new one that we can save. Something that we haven't really seen yet. Um, as you guys can see, we have a bunch of big images as well. There's a Pokeball there. I'm trying to find the small images. So the small images are what you want to get. Um, you know what we'll go for? We'll go for this one. This is a anime face accordingly, and then let's save the image. Now I don't know what it's going to save as. It's going to save as um, anime eyes. Okay then. And then after this point, you go back into block launcher. You go back to whatever world you want to go into. For the sake of me, I'm going to go back into the one I just created then. And then I'm going to go over here real quick and just, just simply print that image. Um, so let's go to print, files download and I think it was anime eyes so this one as you guys can see there and then you go to start simply start tapping on the ground whereabouts it should be uh, and as you guys can see it literally it loads in it loads in like the anime face so you can have endless designs it's up to you um, I'm going to show you guys with a bigger image now and show you what I mean so I'm going to go over here sometimes you can load them in but they take a little bit of time to do so let's just go out the way so like we've got a bit of space to mess with so I'm going to go quick back to google um, and I'm going to scroll till I find an image that I like. So say there was, oops, say there was a big image that I like. Uh, but I don't want to get too big, you see. I'm trying to work with a, an average image. Let's just go up a little bit. Let's just say we wanted to do, say we wanted to do Pac-Man. All right, as you guys can see, it's a 400 times 400 uh, size. But I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the image. Check what it's saved as. It's saved as, um, doesn't race. Oh, yeah, PIQ7. Okay. I know which one it's going to be. Back into block launcher. So I suggest saving a whole bunch at a one time. So let's go to play. Let's go in here. And then here we go. This is where things get really, really big on a large scale. So go to downloaded. Um, where is it? PIQ. It was PIQ77. So it was this one. Um, it's 400 by 400. So it's pretty big. I'm just going to make it smaller a little bit. And then I'm going to start. And then this one's going to take a little bit of time to generate in. And you guys will see the difference in sizes and stuff. Um, Sometimes they take a long time to generate in. That's just because of the way it is. I, 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 you guys got to be really careful. It might take us a while to place a whole bunch of these down. Um, but you can see it's just going to be a lot of blue. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really big area. So this looks like it's the border. So it looks like it goes all the way this way. Probably even further down as well. Yeah, it's really, really big. So you guys understand how big it's going to be and how long it's going to take to generate in a size like that. Um, what I'll do here is instead of me having to reprint it in, it's probably not going to let me print any more things, but the size is huge. So you've got to be really careful. If you guys want to spawn in big ones, that's up to you. I mean, you can do it, but it just takes you a long time to generate because of how big the image is. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to mess around with that too much because <laughs> that was just 400 by 400. So if you can stick to around about 20 by 20 um, or to be safe, you can stick to images. There we go. It's starting to load Pac-Man in, I think. Slightly? No? I'm trying to remember what the image looked like. Oh yeah, here it is. Here we go. Here becomes Pac-Man. So if you try and stick to 20 by 20 or if you want to push it to 50, 50 by 50, they're the sizes I suggest. Going anything past that, you're going to have to you're going to have to generate a lot of world in. Um, but if you've got time and patience, then feel free to do that. <laughs> but it's going to take you a long time. As you guys can see there, we can just about slowly start to see the shape of my Pac-Man. Um, ish. Just go up a bit, it's slowly starting to generate in. 
Uh, but I'm not going to have time to just start filling all of this in. But imagine how big it's going to be. It's going to take a large area. Uh, a lot of people have messed around with this mod before, but I thought I'd have a little bit of mess around with it on my own. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. The download and instructions are in the, uh, in the description. And you can check them out on my website. Apart from that, I've been Echo. Have a great day. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.